Hi guys, welcome back. I'm Ms. Elia. Thank you for joining me today. Since Cinco de Mayo is right around the corner, I thought we could do something fun. So today we can make these little maracas. There are a few things that you will need so you can take a look at the next picture. Let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we fill up our little bottles up with the beans and rice or whatever you guys have available at home. I want to make sure that we um, go ahead and save the caps. As you can see, it can be a little hard to fill them up. So what you can do is create your own little funnel from paper and then fill up your little bottles. As you can see here, um, I'm just gonna fill it up and then I'm going to put the cap back on once I'm done. Okay, now I'm done. I'm going to put the cap back on and I'm going to go on to the next step. Next, what we want to do is cut up our toilet paper tubes and you just cut them right across as you can see and we're going to use those as handles for our maracas so make sure that you tighten up as much as you can in the cap area and have your tape ready to go and make sure you cover all the way around and try to secure it as much as possible Okay, so there goes the first one. And we're gonna take our tape and secure the ends as well, as well as the center part. And we're going to do that for both of them. Try to smooth it out, so there's my first one. And then I'll do the same for the next one. So now that it's secured um, at the at the bottom where the cap is, also do the same for the ends. And once again, I'm going to take the tape that I pre-cut. It just makes it a little bit easier to have handy already. And also secure the center part as well. We're going to tape the next. Uh, maraca and I'm actually going to tape the whole maraca so that, that I can actually paint over it with the tape because the tape will hold the paint a lot better than um, if you have tempera it, it won't stick on to the to the plastic so it's better to just cover it up and try to smooth it out as much as you possibly can and see I just need an extra piece of tape so I'm just going to secure it and try, uh, once again, smooth it out as much as you can. Use as much tape as you need. Okay, so that one's pretty secured. I'm going to take, uh, again, this is my tempera paint. I'm gonna start with yellow and you could choose whatever color you'd like. I'm just going to cover up as much as possible here on the top part of the maraca. And again, I'm using tempera paint for this one. And I'm going to try to make sure I stop at the base towards the bottom. I'm, I'm going to keep the handle. Um, I'm going to paint it a different color. Okay, next, um, once it's uh, finished from the top part, I need to let it dry. So I'm just gonna make sure that all parts are covered up for the yellow. And I'm gonna take my blow dryer so that it can dry up faster or even your fan can work to dry it up quicker. And that way we can get to the other one in the meantime. So for the other one, I'm actually using acrylic paint. And the acrylic paint will actually stick on right onto the plastic. So I don't need to cover that one up. So I purposely left that one um, without covering it up with the tape. And remember, you can use whatever color you want. Or you can even leave the maracas just clear if you want. That would be another option. 
But for this purpose, I want to cover it up using acrylic paint. And again, um, the acrylic will stick on much better and I won't paint um, my handles just yet. I need to let it dry so once again I'm going to use either my fan or my blow dryer to dry up the top part so that it could dry up a lot faster. Okay they're both dry. I'm going to start off with the maraca that has the acrylic paint. So now I'm going to start off with the handles. So I'm just going to start putting my paint and again choose whatever colors you want. I'm just going to split mine into three colors and I start off at the handle. I'm going to change my color now. So once again, it's up to you whatever colors you would like to use for this purpose. I will change and use three different colors for my maracas. And if you'll notice, um, I'm sticking my finger into uh, the opening of the other end of the tube because it allows me to hold on to it and not get my hand full of paint. And that way, since the yellow part is already dried up, I can simply twist it as I paint around and it makes it easier. So now I can let it dry and while it, that one is already sitting, I start on my next one. And again, I, I'm using tempera paint for this one just to show you guys um, a little bit of the difference. So temper paint and I'm also going to use three colors on this one. Okay, once they are finished, um, I'm just gonna get rid of my paint and they can both stand and dry up. Or once again, you can dry them up with a fan or with your blow dryer. Now that they're dry, I'm actually gonna use two little googly eyes because I think they could be fun. So I'm just gonna use some googly eyes and glue them right onto my first maraca. And I'm gonna draw some, uh, like a little face. And again, this is the maraca that is acrylic paint. So I'm just going to draw a little face, little fun face, and you can do patterns, you can use whatever you want onto your maraca to decorate it. I'm just going to do some hair at the top, just kind of give my little maraca a little character, and I'm just going to give him some hair and little sideburns or whatnot. So it looks like my little guy is done. 
um, I can let it dry up and, and also the glue needs to dry up from the little googly eyes. I'm gonna work on my next one while that one dries up. Now remember this is the one that is tempera paint and for this one I'm just gonna do some patterns, um, some little zigzag and little dots and I'm just gonna go ahead and and again you guys can be as creative as you want and make any patterns or lines or anything you would like to do. So for this I'll just do a little quick zigzag. Okay, and I'm going to use different colors and I think for the next one, I'm, I'm just trying to grab my paintbrush here. I'll use green for just to kind of make some dots. Okay, and then I'll use another color and I'll just make some triangles here at the bottom. And again, you guys can do whatever shapes you want. Use whatever paint colors you would like and just to make whatever fun shapes and, and patterns that you, that you guys choose to do. I'm just gonna do some quick triangles and, and then you guys can let it dry. So, looks like I'm all done. Thank you for watching.